fucking 2014. My life is so crazy, you guys. Sometimes I feel like my blog is the only person I can talk to. This guy I was seeing tried to put it in my butt last night, and I don't know, girls will gossip. I just ate a hot batch of brownies, and that's so bad for my sugar intake, duh. Um, my best friend has it in for this girl. This, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Wake up. I need to talk to you about something. Hmm. Actually, two things. Number one. As my best friend and sidekick, you are well aware of my discontent with the goddess's decision to put Melody and Green in a relationship. And my meditation is going to take action. So, originally, my plan was to use tantric telepathy to inhabit Green into my love nest and away from Melody's. However, my body had an unhappy reaction to the gluten-free organic chia seed kale mix that my Ayurvedic specialist provided me with. So, I moved on to plan B. One of my close friends, Anita, is on the school board where Melanie works and her child goes to school in Melody's class. Anita owes me a favour, so I asked her to do something sort of bad. Well, not bad. Some fucking kid pooped on my parsley plant. He was dared by another kid whose parents on the school board. <sighs> what? Yeah, I got the BC Boys tribute album in the mail, Mom. Are you listening? There are kids literally working with their parents to shit on my dreams. No pun intended. I wish I could have little kittens instead of children. They're undoing all the hard work that I've done to make this place a peaceful, nice, happy environment. If kids are gonna poop on my plants, then what's gonna happen to their, to their pets at home? And their pets' plants. Are their kids gonna poop on their plants? The generation continues. We're spending too much time drinking water, playing on our iPhones, eating all the food. Thumbs. Okay, this isn't helping. I'm going to the school board. And I don't need a tribute album from the Beastie Boys. I already have all eight of their albums. Goodbye. Hey, what's up? What happened? A kid pooped in your, your, your plant? Yeah, Jessa Messin pooped on my person. Je- what? Jessa Me- Jessa Messin? What the fuck kind Why of Why are you that? here? Go clean that poop up. Go clean it up. Green, are you, you need to Yeah, I'm serious. Jessa Messin just took his um, shit directly on all of my love and care and your- I'm gonna yell at you. I, I, the reason I came here is, is uh, uh, there's a ring that, it was a weed nugget that I made into the shape of a ring. And I want to give it to you because I, I can't afford a ring right now, but I, oh, 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 oh yeah, I, I love you too. Oh, no, what's up? Fuck that kid. Hey, Miss Melanie's on a homeless man. Yeah. Mom, Lucum, get back to class. Yeah, Mom, Lucum, fucking. So, I had to do it. And I'm not sure if it was a bad idea or not, but, you know. I know that Melody is going to freak and Green's not going to be okay with it and it's going to put yet another dent in their not at all perfect relationship. Okay. I just, uh, had to tell you that. Now, number two. It seems to me, Lissa, that you called me last night and huh. in your sleep left me a voicemail talking about how much you love hot dogs. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe it was a joke. But now I see that it's not. Mm -hmm. So, as your punishment, I'm sending you on a mission to find me oh, she's in love with trees. a man who resembles in shape and looks the sleeping willow tree that I fell in love with last summer because I know you know a lot of men, Lissa, and I'm having an extremely hard time being sexual with anyone when all I can picture is this goddamn tree. Oh, um, I take my shirt off. Uh, I'm actually quite cold. Do you mind if, would you just slip it in and do the hair in my pants? So, is this going to be an easy task? Easy. Sleepy. I just need things 
just a flower, Lisa. So like Base Nectar, Christopher Walken Hybrid. Chip. Find me a Base Nectar, Christopher Walken Hybrid. Go. Things are going to flow. Uh, I have my sleepy treatment. Anyway, I got this fucking new chip, right? I feel free as a fucking bird. That is the first thing I did when I left the office. Like, you totally have to get it. I mean, but wait till I have it for a little bit first. Oh my god, I can't. So, like, it kind of hurt. Like, they had to, like, cut into me and stuff. Like, barf. Ew. You would not believe how much things I can do having an extra hand. Your damage. Oh my arm? Oh my god. <laughs> the doctor just said it would be like this for the rest of my life because I carry a bag so much. Any guess? There's all this talk about like how it can affect your blood, your skin, how like no matter what the government can find you and knows where you are, but I'm like, thanks. Like I totally can't get robbed now. Like the only way I could ever, if anything ever happened to me, is if like a robber literally just like came up and cut off It's like all coming together. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Great. I'm so excited. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for me. It looks great. Thanks. You can't see it. Well, I know, but shut up. <laughs>